Hey everybody, it's Chrissy from Earthogy. I wanted to show you something that I just put up for sale. Um, I have an ebook out for you all. It's $9 on my website, and it is a bunch of crystal grid templates. This is one of them. They are all printable and will come centered on a regular size sheet of copy paper. There are a lot of um, mandalas, mandalas, I don't know how you pronounce it. And there's also some other simple symbols. There's some Celtic symbols. There's a lot of things for you to play with. And it's a 35 page ebook. There's a cover page, one set, one page of instructions and tips. And then the rest is all templates. So I'll show you what I did with this one. This is how it printed out in black and white. I took it and got me some cool markers. These were only seven bucks at Walmart and there's 50 of them in here. It's ridiculous. And yesterday I took that whole design and colored it. This is what it was and this is what it is now. This is one of my favorite designs in the book because it has little trees in it which I like. So I'm going to set up a new crystal grid here for prosperity. And I like using a natural um, table. I think it's a little, if there's a word, feng shui um, to stick with wood or metal, something like that. Metals are really good energy conductors, especially copper. Um, my metal table is currently holding my Comcast thing, and I really need to watch TV at night, so it's in use. Um, but we're going to set this up here. I've got a clear quartz tower to put in the center. And you can find all these stones on my site. I've got some citrine here. And you're going to want to lay this out whatever way you want to. I just tend to really like symmetry. So these are green adventuring and citrine. And I also have some tiger's eye. Another stone you could use in a prosperity grid would be peridot, or um, also pyrite is a good one. And I have those too, if you're interested. And then, I forgot, I have a little page of intentions I wrote down for prosperity, which basically says on it that I would like so much money in my checking account and so much money in my savings account, and I would like my credit card bills to be zero. We will see if that happens. Um, I have to tend to redo these grids once in a while because they work for a while and then they really need kind of refreshing. So I take them apart and start a new one. So this is the new one we're doing today. These are selenite sticks that I have in five packs on the website that you can usually find. I usually have them in stock. So this is a new crystal grid. And I'm going to move it in front of my window over there where it gets some sunlight. I mean, these stones really don't fade in the sunlight. Some will, like fluorite, but um, these will be fine. And I'm going to smudge this with some sage or some Palo Santo, and then it's all set. So if you'd like the book of crystal grids that I have, you can grab these. They're fun. You can color them. I wanted to make templates for all of you that were more interesting than, I mean, you can get the regular just plain old designs like infinity symbols and spirals and stuff, but why not use mandalas? I mean, they're pretty interesting and you can enjoy coloring them and they're beautiful. And I'm not a really good color. I spent all day coloring that darn thing for you yesterday, but I know some of you probably really enjoy it. So have fun with it.